Good morning, Mustangs. This is your morning herd for Thursday, October 27th, 2022. The robotics team is still welcoming new members. They meet tonight at 6.30 in room 139. They're reviewing a design process and getting more robots rolling. Hope to see you there. Diversity Council is inviting you to join them at their first cultural outing on Saturday, October 29th from 12 to 3 p.m. at the Midtown Global Market. For all information and to RSVP, scan the QR code you see here. We hope to see you there. Attention boys track sprinters, jumpers, and hurdlers who want to improve their speed. We're meeting on the track after school next Monday. Off-season practices will be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Training will consist of heavy technique and speed work to prepare for the upcoming track season. Questions? Find Ethan Zhao. This afternoon, both of our cross-country teams will compete in the section meet, and both teams are favored to win. This would be the third girls' fall sports team to qualify for the state competition, which is pretty incredible. Good luck to all runners. Make it a great day to be a Mustang. Good luck today to Mustang Swim and Dive. This afternoon, they will compete in the Suburban East Conference meet. The Morning Herd would like to remind all athletes that elephants are always ready to swim since they always have their trunks on. Today, Mustangs be an elephant. The Mustangs volleyball team upset Tartan in their quarterfinal game last night, winning 3-0. The fifth-seeded Mustangs will travel to Stillwater to rematch with the Ponies on November 1st at 7 p.m. Mustangs Tennis defeated Thief River Falls yesterday to win the Consolation Championship. They're officially a top five team in the state of Minnesota. Individual play to crown a singles and doubles champion began this morning. Good luck, Mustangs. This week's prep feature takes us to Mounds View as Julia Daniels tells us the girls' soccer team is still alive after an incredible feat. It was a day of recovery for the Mounds View girls' soccer team after a big win over top-ranked Wyzetta in the state quarterfinals. To be able to just have the opportunity to compete with them um, was amazing. In the semifinals, they faced the team that knocked them out last year, the Dino. Getting redemption from last year would be so fun. More than redemption, it'll be the team's first appearance at U.S. Bank Stadium in program history. Last year, that was definitely our goal to make it to the bank, and then making it this year is crazy. Still in the fight for their first ever state title, head coach Caitlin Vass says the postseason success took a little persuasion. We just had to convince them that they weren't good enough, that they just needed to rely on each other. Unranked headed into the postseason, Coach Fast says this journey speaks to the perseverance of her Mustangs. In Mounds View, Julia Daniels, Pure 11 Sports. We're all going to Carbolo today in support of our cross-country runners and swim and dive athletes. Pasta with meat, red or Alfredo sauce with a breadstick and Caesar salad. Have a great day, Mustangs.